Hey, hello. This is Jacob Gomez for Week 9 Consolidation. Just going to go over the basics of my Rails application and the REST API that we had to do. So, uh, right now we're signed in, but if we sign out, uh, you will no longer have access to the intervention back office. Uh, so, let's say we wanted to try to just go ahead and go to intervention tab without being signed in it'll just go ahead and redirect us to log in, which is exactly what we want. So let's log in as a user. Let's use Tim for this example. Go ahead and log in. Oh, did I not do that one right? Okay. There we go. And so once we log in, you will see the intervention and back office back on the tab. So let's go ahead and go to the intervention office and you'll see the customer you have all of these to choose from and all the options will open up as soon as you pick one however you don't have to pick elevator and column those are optional and when you do backtrack and let's say change an option these will go back to none that way it's not just an easy break and same thing with let's say customer if i chose back to select customer, which would be like the zero value, then all of these will clear. Clear and, uh, oh. there we go. Clear and uh, hide. And that goes the same for if I pick a whole different customer too, then same exact thing. So we'll go back. Let's pick one with every value. And we'll do Francis and we'll do test. We'll submit that and we will see it show up in the back office. So once we make our way there, we'll see less than a minute ago, interventions, and here we are. All right, and we can also do the same exact thing, uh, but without the um, elevator and column actually too. So if we left those blank, let's do David for this one. Test two. Then same exact thing. There we go. Back office. Less than a minute ago. Same thing. Just no column, no elevator and such. Right? Pending. So we'll go back. And we also have our Zendesk tickets that will come up with the required information, requester ID, customer, building ID, battery, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There we go. Alright. So now let's move on to the REST API. And here we have it deployed. We can see it in Postman. And let's say we want to change an ID of, uh, what's the one we just did, 25. Let's do ID 25. And we're going to go ahead and change that status to completed with a put. And we will get status has been changed successfully. So let's go ahead and view that. So now we see it is completed here on the live website. So that's that's the basics of what we have and hope this has been more than informative.